Hey guys, changes in my coach Sebastian over the day. We're gonna do some upper body, but nothing too serious. We're both gonna uh, just play around a little bit, start with a bench press, maybe three plates. I've had in the last couple of weeks something wrong with my shoulder, so I haven't really been posting like you guys have been seeing a whole lot with, with bench lately. That's because it's when I go heavy, there's a small pain in my shoulder. So we'll, we'll see today. I'm gonna give give the arse. Sebastian likes to do a lot of arse when he does bench press. I I don't know. Just never. I've never uh, got used to that technique. But today I'm gonna give that a try. Well, he's never gotten used to it because he doesn't bench press in his competition, so he doesn't really need to. But, yeah. But I still prefer it, even if you don't have to compete with the bench press. That's still the way that I like to do it anyway. Yeah. And I'd love to make Thor an expert at arch back bench pressing, which a lot of people see as a cheat technique, but the way I see it is, I think it's healthier on his shoulder. And I think if he nails it today, uh, he'll be able to work through his shoulder pain and maybe even fix his shoulder pain. Well, I hope so. Give it a try. Slide to me. Good, good, good. Okay, okay. Push your heels down. Good. Squeeze your shoulder blades together hard. Squeeze that together really hard. Good. Take a big breath. Hold your breath. Good. Now pull the bar apart. Don't drop it. Don't go down and up. Pull the bar apart. Okay. Push your heels down. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Did you like that? Hillstorm, Hillstorm. That was good coaching. Right? He's become quite the coach these days. He wrapped my knees yesterday <laughs> as well. <laughs> Alright, my mom just came. Gotta stay busy between sets, signing some merch for the people. Here you go, mom. Thank you. Please leave in the comments. Tell, tell my mom that she is the most beautiful woman you've seen. If you don't. I'll be very angry. She's the best. Thank I you. I love you, mom. Thank you. I love you too. <laughs> um. That's cool. That's cool. Nice. That's cool. Look at that. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There we go. Awesome. Very Great. Awesome. Hey, thanks, man. Awesome. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, oh. On my heels. Cold sass. Get myself down. See, look at you, like a professional cheap arch bench presser, like a power lifter. That's what the people want. Man, look at the technique. Bro. This, this guy has been telling me all along that the arch bench, his body just doesn't look get in that this. position. And then look at it like he's been doing it. Um, closet bench pressing, closet arching. I got you, bro. Mm -hmm. I can see what you're doing. What are you doing? You're just a, an arch bench person, naturally. Naturally? Yeah, yeah, you are. See that? <laughs> he acts like he body can't get in that position. Ah, oh, <laughs> come on. You're gonna bench well today. Mm -hmm. Does that hurt your shoulder? Well, this is 20 kilograms. That's true. So <laughs> but I'm gonna ask it every set because yes. some injuries hurt it with just 20 kilograms. Should we kilograms. do blues today? Blues? Let's do blues because it looks cool. Yeah. Forget blue plates. Blue plates means more plates? Yeah. Uh, do we want to do the bumper plates or the powerlifter plates? Powerlifter plates. Powerlifter plates, okay. How are the legs today? I'm not kidding. Uh, you know what? They're, I thought they were going to be a lot worse. Oh. Come on! Oh. Let's up! Let's up! Come on! Come on! Push! Uh, 22, 23, 24. Fuck! Fuck! Oh. Oh. Fuck yeah! They're still a little bit jelly. I'm, I'm going to give it till this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> to give you a proper rundown. Uh, where are we? No, I think that's it. That's wrong. Okay. Is that crooked? Huh? Number one. I don't know. They're good. They're good. Yeah, but uh, this, they're actually okay right now. 
Also okay. My legs. Uh, yeah, they were, this morning I was walking a little bit funny and I thought, ooh, <laughs> it's, it's just going to get progressively worse. Oh, we're, you, we're using belts? One, I, one I like to wear a belt from the start. Okay. Yes. Well, you didn't use the belt for no, no weight. Yeah. He's always trying to get me on something. <laughs> Come on. Bit back, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Good. Just down. Just down. Squeeze this hard. Squeeze that hard. Just down. Keep pushing the heels down harder. Looks good, man. How's it feel? How's the shoulder? Anything? No, no. Yeah. Uh, excellent. Let's go look, small increments. Let's yeah. not do plate, plate, plate this time. Okay. We'll do green. Green one? Yeah. So one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. Five, five and a half. Oh, I don't know about that. But I do think that we can do more than three plates. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. It's not too crazy. You control it. You can control it. <clears throat> okay. Back, 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 back. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do it by your crotch. <laughs> that's one way to get you back, right? Yeah, yes, that's true. One. One. Two. Three. I have one question. Ask. I like to have the belt here. Yeah. This is especially like when I do when I do squats yep. and and deadlift. I used to have the belt here. Yep. But I see even for like deadlifts, you have to squat very high up here. Yeah, definitely. So when I is there a reason for that? When I teach it to people, I say or whatever is comfortable. It, is it just to show your belly? Actually, yeah, I it looks worse. It looks worse the way that I have it. Makes my belly hang down here, yeah, no. but it allows me to feel it better because that's the part. This is the part of my core that I'm breathing with. So this is where we're breathing with our diaphragm. So the diaphragm sits. Uh, it lines the bottom of our rib cage, right here. So so this is where I like to brace with. So I'm pushing this part of the abs into the belt. And for me, when I have my belt lower, some people prefer it lower. Yep. When I have it lower, it feels like it's really folding me in half. Mm. So for me, for most of my movements, it's mm. about stabilizing that part of my spine. So, so on this side, so it's my mid back rather than my lower back. Yeah. Whereas a lot of people like to support their lower back. For me, yeah. uh, I, I don't feel that having it lower down supports me. I mean, definitely this could be very beneficial in the bench press, but when, 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 I, when I actually think about squat and, and deadlift, I would want it lower. Yeah. For, 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 for that reason, for the, for the low, lower back, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I know, because a lot of people think it's the lower back that we're trying to protect. So I have it closer to the lower back. Uh, but for me, that's how I used to be as well. I used to have it kind of in the middle, in between my rib cage and my pelvis. So it's like right at the center of my guts. Yeah. But for me, um, it's just not where I get the most support. I definitely feel... I guess it also depends on the body shape of people, you know. Definitely. Like when I teach people to do it, I give them a chance. Um, a lot of the times, like with, with Half Thor, he's never liked it. Um, but a lot of people, he's very strong without uh, trying a new belt position. He's had that belt position, uh, you know, through deadlifting 474 yeah, kilograms. Like now, like you see, I'm keeping it a little bit higher yeah. because I don't feel like, like that's fine in this exercise. Yeah. For me at least, you know, it doesn't bother me here. Yeah. It, look, so I'm going to give it a try yeah. here. You've got a lot of good experience with your position. So anything different to that I never would really, feel I never gross. really use stuff in, in bench press, not yeah. that often at least. So yeah, I'm going to yeah, give yeah, this yeah. a try. Yeah, well it works differently in a bench press anyway. Okay. 
I think more important than the belt position is this arch. I think we've got to talk about this arch and why we're doing it. <coughs> heels down, heels down, heels down. Squeeze them together. Okay, heels down harder. There's a few things that we're doing with the arch. Um, one of the most obvious reasons that people look at and they say that we're basically cheating the movement, it does reduce the range of motion. Uh, when we pick the chest up, the chest uh, is closer to the bar so we don't have to travel as far. But another thing that we're doing is we're, we're retracting our shoulder blades or pulling our shoulder blades together which shortens our arms. So we're picking our chest up and shorten our arms which really reduces the range of motion. Definitely uh, makes it easier to press a bigger weight if you don't have to travel as far. But the main reason why I'm doing it is to protect the shoulder. If you think about the way these bones are set up, this shoulder joint here, it's a glenohumeral joint. That's the humerus, uh, that's the glenoid, which is the ball and socket joint. So that's the ball, the top of this bone, and the socket is on the shoulder blade. So that shoulder blade has to, or the socket of the shoulder blade, has to cradle the head of the humerus. And that means we need to point the socket in the right direction for where we're going to be traveling. We also need to consider that, put your arms out in front of you, when we have a huge weight here, uh, Thor's best is 250 kilograms, 250 kilograms traveling all the way through here, we need it to have this shoulder blade supported right here on the bench. So when we squeeze our shoulder blades back and down, this is the cue that I teach, back and down towards your back pockets, uh, the shoulder blade is resting here, so a heavy weight can be supported on the bench. If you're protracting your shoulder blades, uh, there's no support. So it's a lot more stable, that surface, which is a lot safer uh, for your shoulder joint. And yeah, it definitely does reduce the range of motion. So it does make us able to lift a heavier weight and it's safer on the shoulder joint. That's why we're doing it. I want to try this out, this awesome drink, Rain Total Body Fuel. Thank you. Try it out, tell me your opinion on the thing. Okay. I just spilled it on your bench. Ah, oh, that's okay. That's fine, bro. You like it's it? Good. It's pretty good. You like it? Yeah. It's I like it. Nice. Yeah. I like a sweet <laughs> drink when I'm training. Mm. Um, it's nice. But I usually have it with uh, like apple juice or something sweet, mm. but not really meant for the session. I just yeah. like sweet drink. Yeah, it's good. But this is nice. Was it both apple? Was it both? Yeah, sour apple. Yeah, sour apple today. What was that? Oh, hundred kilo. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, okay, okay. Heels down. Now bring your feet back a little bit more. Let's get, let's get tight and uncomfortable. Push heels down. Slide slowly. Slowly. Good. Wait, don't unrack yet. Squeeze them together. Squeeze them together. Big breath. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. Squeeze them together. Let's go. Heels down harder. Heels down harder. Heels down harder. Heels down harder. Good. There's a few joints in the shoulder. One of them is where your shoulder blade slides around your rib cage. Right? And for it to move around your rib cage properly, the rib cage needs to be in this extended position. So that's why we arch. It's not arching the lower back, it's more arching the upper back. And if you want to get the shoulder in the right position, the safest position, it needs to be down and back in the back pocket as we're pressing. Yeah. Um, so, so arching mm -hmm. is really safety for the, for the shoulder. Do you want to try this one more set? Uh, I want you to, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. If, you didn't, if that didn't uh, feel good. Mm. I don't mind going up for mine. And then... Uh, like there's no like right now off shit on me. Yeah. And I'm not training for anything. Yeah. And so I'm not gonna push myself and, 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 and risk more injury. This is how I rehabilitate people. This isn't about risking injury. I'm not getting injured. No, I know, I know. I'm just saying that I'm not gonna fully yeah. go ahead. With no, I don't need to. Yep. Come on. Up on the balls of the feet. Good. Okay. Okay. Push heels down. Just slide slowly. Slide slowly.
Heels down, heels down. Squeeze them back, squeeze them back, squeeze them back. Good, heels down harder. Let me unwrap, hold your breath, hold your breath. Shoulder blades back, shoulder blades back, shoulder blades back. Pull the bar apart, pull the bar apart, pull the bar apart, slowly. Heels down, heels down. One more, heels down, okay. Still playing? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It was a better arch. The next thing is the breath hold. So you, you, you breathe out as soon as we unracked it. <clears throat> it's a really common thing for people to do. So it's like, not like a technique that everyone has to do, but I definitely know that for myself, I'm allowed to hold a much better position. You like to suffocate yourself. Doing not, this not so much, because it's only a few seconds. So I'm holding my breath for maybe 10 seconds at a time. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say, oh, I need to breathe it's so hard. It's yeah. not really. Can you hold your breath for 10 seconds? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's all. That's all. So for the next one, can you try 100 again? Can. Okay. It's all good. So not, not while you're setting up, so breathing normally while you're setting up. Okay, slide back. So heads off the bench, good. Okay. Heels down hard, slowly slide into position. Heels down, slowly. Heels down, just there, just there. Good. Heels down harder, heels down harder. Shoulder blades back, shoulder blades back, shoulder blades back hard, shoulder blades, pull the bar apart. Hold your breath, pull the bar apart. Heels down, just one more, just one more, just one more, good. How did that feel? Yeah, I'm getting warmed up. Feels very set for sure. I, uh, I'm, I'm uh, grunting. What do you say, grunting? Like, ah. Uh, yeah, you're grunting. Yeah, I'm grunting a lot because I'm just really thinking, oh, squeezing yeah, everything. Yeah. yeah, but that's a good thing because you're squeezing the right muscles now, and you're not just dropping the weight to your chest and pushing it up. You're lowering the bar under control. Uh, and you're using all the right muscles to stay tight. Yeah. Um, and that saves your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Not many of the best benches just drop the, be the bar on the chest. No, I um, no, I know you don't. I know, you don't. I know I'm not the best bencher. I feel like that was a shot for me, you know. You know but, but I know I'm not the best bench bencher, but you know, I'm still in trouble. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say that again. That's, this is 160 kilograms. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll make this my work weight. 160. Yeah, 160. Maybe I'll, I'll do some uh, high rep stuff. Yeah. I'll try not to. Okay. Mm. Mm. Take your time for the setup. Feet back, good. Slowly get in, heels down. Slowly slide. Heels down, heels down, heels down. Shoulder blades back harder. Squeeze them together as hard as I can. Big breath, hold your breath. Hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath. Shoulder blades back harder, shoulder blades back harder. Pull the bar apart. Slowly, pull it apart, pull it apart. Heels down, one more only. Heels down, heels down, good. Done. Yeah, shoulder was okay. Not as like the first set. Yeah. So I'll do one more set this way. One more set of this way. One more set of this way, I see how it feels. I, Maybe I, I'll I do think, another one. I think because I'm it's not rushing anything, you know. I'm, yeah. I think um, when we put the heavier weight on, your shoulder came forward when we unracked it a little bit more than the last set. Yeah, it might, so, have. It might have. Yeah, so I think in the next set, if we, if we nail it back a little bit harder, yeah. it's going to feel a little bit nicer. A little bit nicer. Like, the, the thing that stands out to me is, like, because you've got such long arms, it stands out how far you're traveling. Okay. So, when they're, when they're back, I can see it's not traveling as far. <laughs> 1 kilograms, 5 reps, by Sebastian Oreb. Excuse Excuse <laughs> Thank you. 
three, four, five. Strong like a bull. Like <laughs> it's always one time, every time. You should have seen me yesterday, trying to shake everyone's hand, like just being polite. I just came <laughs> off the plane and say, hey, how you doing? I had to shake my own hand a few times. <laughs> okay, breathing. Bring your feet back. Good, let's keep the feet there. Don't let them slide forward now. Shove the heels down as hard as they go. Heels down hard, heels down hard. Heels down, slowly, slowly. Heels down harder. Squeeze the shoulder blades as hard as they go. Good, take a big breath. On your breath. Shoulder blades back, 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 good. Pull the bar apart, pull the bar apart and push the heels down. Pull the bar apart, push the heels down. One more. Heels down, heels down, heels down, good. Actually, that was a shorter range of motion than the set before. Huh? Yeah, your arms look short. It's a better position. Huh? Did you see that, Andre? Yeah, it looks, it looks tighter. as your shoulder, bro? Uh, good. And also, do you know why it looks tighter? Feel tighter. Okay. Just kidding. Haha, <laughs> 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 you got chalk on your jumper. Oh, awesome. That's karma. <laughs> see that? That's karma. Yeah, yeah, big time. Yeah. <laughs> Um, kind of milestones when I'm in Iceland and that is this is absolutely the strongest that I've ever been coming into Iceland every time I get here you know the, the travel the the hours on the airplane it takes its toll on me and everything feels heavy um, but right now I'm able to lift the weight so I'm doing it cool. yeah I feel good it's been uh, it's a nice feeling to, to be strong at Thor's Power Gym, man. I get super embarrassed when I come in here. Why? And I can't lift for shit. Because usually when I come here, I'm off season. And it's like, you're peaking and you're deadlifting. Last time I came here on his first session, he deadlifted 400 for a double. And it was like easy. And I'm sitting here with Andre, deadlifting 220. <laughs> and it's like, everything just felt heavy. And I was, it's like, I'll just wait till Thor's finished and then I'll train in the corner, <laughs> just when he's not watching. <laughs> yeah, you're training for a competition in March. In March, so I'm five months away. In Australia. Yes. Um, and I'd like to, this time around, mm -hmm. usually I compete two times a year. We spoke about that uh, yesterday, the difference between delicate power lifters. I like two comps a year and this year I'm actually only doing one competition. Um, you know, compared to a strong man, uh, Thor did five major comps last year and that was a quiet year for you, right? Mm. <laughs> and that's because usually he has to qualify for the Arnolds, but now because he's the winner, he's the Arnold last, champion. Last, last two years I haven't, I haven't had to qualify basically because I won the Arnold competition in, in Columbus, Ohio. So that's one less competition that you have to do. All the other guys who play second, third, fourth, blah, blah, you know, they have to compete. And if you don't win a show, you don't qualify. Yeah. If you get second, you just get points, and then, then overall points. If let's say if um, if eight guys qualified, you know already, I don't know how many how many qualifier rounds there are. You know, I think like five or something. I think not only five. Let's just count it. Arnold Classic, uh, Ohio. That's yeah. me. I'm qualified. Yeah. Brazil. Yeah. South Africa. Australia. Australia. Spain. Africa. Spain. Africa as well. I South just, I said, I just, I just said. Canada, Canada. Canada. Yeah. California. So there's seven. Right. So there's three spots left. Yeah. So whoever guys who have the most points um, after that, they qualify. They, they qualify. Yeah. Right now, there's actually two guys right now. Uh, they have qualified. That haven't qualified yeah. was. So Kilikoski just won. Kilikoski just won, so he's so qualified. He's, he's in. Um, Did Brian um, win anything? Brian hasn't won in, 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 in anything yet, yet, so he is not 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 qualified. He hasn't qualified yet. Who else has? Uh, so actually, Martin Lesis and Brian Shaw they haven't qual qualified yet, so they have to step it up in California yeah. if so they want to. Compete. So if they don't win in California, they have to rely on points. If they don't win in California, they have to rely on points. Right. So they've got to work. 
they're gonna work. They have to. They have to basically come first, second to have a chance. I believe. I think yeah. so. Yeah. I don't know if they've competed in, in 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 many like qualifiers yet. So I know some some guys compete a lot. You know, in all qualifiers. Yeah. So they they can point. You know, they already have some points. I think that's what um, Kieliszkowski always used to do. Is just compete so much. I think that last year he didn't win anything. Uh, he didn't win the, any of the qualifiers, but he I think he got some points. I know he wins a lot, like he's a freak, there's no yeah. doubt about that. But the amount of competitions that that guy was going in... It's crazy. It's, uh, it's like... I, I wouldn't be able to do it. It's, 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 it's uh, like uh, Novikov, the yeah. new, new guy. He's just competing, 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 competing. But like he's fresh. Is he qualified? Yes, yes. He's, he's qualified, qualified, so he's going to be in the islands. He won one so I can't remember which one, but he... That yeah. guy's so I think he won Brazil, he won the Brazil right. show. Yep, nice. Fuck! Nice. Yeah. where I want it to be. Come on. Yeah, good job. Ready? Uh. Oh, there you go. One. Two. Okay, it's good. Good. That's a good day. I was trying to give you some ammonia there. Did it help? Uh, through your pants. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I didn't quite get the ammonia. Oh, was it strong enough? Fuck. I showered this morning. That's why I probably... <laughs> God damn it. Remember what happened with the chalk on your shirt, okay? That's karma. Oh, that's <laughs> feedback a little bit more. Feedback a little bit more. Good. Heels down and slowly get in. Slowly. Slowly. Heels down harder. Heels down harder. Squeeze them together. Good. Big breath. Shoulder blades back, shoulder blades back harder. Pull the bar apart. Heels down, pull it apart. Heels down, pull it apart. Heels down, pull it apart. One more. Heels down, pull it apart. Good. Oh, How's that? Great. Yeah, it's better, better attack, you know. But thinking about the... These small details. You know. It's a, it's a lot of different things. Your feet, your back, your shoulder blades. Your breath, uh, which direction you pull the bar down. There's so much. I know. I know it's uh, a lot to think about. I would like to do one, one, one more set of this. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna change exercise. Then I would like to change exercise. Okay. I'm gonna do a set on this weight, but I'm gonna change just to close grip. Yeah. I'll just do one set like that. Okay. Yeah, I played back more on my lap. I'm not better now than I was there. Like, before I left, I didn't really get, get, the, get the hang of doing a uh, tilt. But now I'm almost at the It's just like the rhythm, you know, to be very like, quick. Okay, let's go. Perfect technique. Come back, feedback more, feedback more. Let's get fun. Give me one more Feedback more, feedback more, feedback more. More, more, more. Get uncomfortable, brother. Good. Push your heels down hard. Heels down, heels down, heels down. Shoulder blades back. Just squeeze them together. Heels down, Anna. Heels down. Shoulder blades back, shoulder blades back, shoulder blades back, shoulder blades back. Heels down, heels down. Pull the bar apart. Heels down, pull it apart. One more. Heels down, pull it apart. Good. That's the shoulder. Feels good. Definitely, you know. Didn't make it worse, you know. Okay, that's a good thing, then. It's a good thing. All right, next up. You choose the exercise, something that's not going to hurt the shoulder. Yep. And uh, incline dumbbell presses. Yeah, cool. I like that. Just light weights. I like that. Turn down for push us, maybe. Yeah. Good. Nice. Let's do it. <laughs> Coach, Thor has requested your presence. Okay, okay, let's do this. I'm just going to put the plates away. We've got a lot of catching up to do. That's right. I don't come to Iceland that often, and when I see people, right. I miss them. He was quite sassy when he asked for you, too. Was he? All yeah. Right, all right, all right. He gets sassy. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go. Thor, you ready? Yes. Oh, it's been waiting for you. Maybe I'll start. 80. How many? Ten. Two. 
three, four, five, six, seven. If you guys want me to compete in a powerlifting meet again, please leave a comment, guys. Okay, let's let's just give them a, a bit of perspective. Yeah. You did world's ultimate strongman. Yeah. Uh, it was like five weeks later. Yeah. You compete, so you, he was competing in a strongman competition, trained exclusively for strongman. Five weeks later, competed in powerlifting <sighs> and totaled 1,100 kilograms. Controversial, 1,100 kilograms. You could argue and say that there was a very harsh judging, but let's just say 1,100 kilograms. That was 10th biggest total in the world with five weeks preparation. So that took me a lot of uh, twisting his big arm of his to, to get him to do that competition. And I'm gonna not stop twisting it. <laughs> Funny guy, right? <laughs> Funny guy. <laughs> Funny guy, right? Okay, do you want to see him do a powerlifting competition? I'll tell you what I predict. Give us 16 weeks, that's kind of at the highest level, what the average amount of time they're giving themselves to prep for a powerlifting competition. 16 weeks uh, preparation. I think this guy will get the all-time world record. Um, and I'm very confident with that. What do you guys think? Do you want to see it? Wow, that's a big, big, big words out there from that. you got to give the people what they want though, right? Yeah. If they want it, what are you going to do? Yeah. You're going to give them what they want? Well, just make sure you comment below, guys, what you want. I'll I might give it to you, but I want a lot of comments though. Do some work. Then you go down, out pose, out, like, like here, not here, here, out, and then, then drop the waist like this, and, and let it go a little outwards, like here, then go up, here, up, here, here, so upwards out, here, upwards out, here, a little outwards, here, here. Uh. 
and just slow. Uh, try this. You can try with a light, 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 light weight. Or go. Yeah. And then. Yeah, nice. Squeeze up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Nice. Squeeze. Yeah. There you go. Come on. Nice. Yep. Come on. What's that feel like? It feels different on my shoulders. Uh, I'm not thinking about lifting the weight. I'm thinking about using the muscle, so it's a different uh, way of looking at the exercise. It's a bodybuilding exercise, right? Yeah. yeah. For pec development. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Twelve. Eight. Four. Squeeze the hand. Squeeze. Nice, nice. Break my hand, break my hand. There you go. Oh. Nice. Come on, Bas. Yep, I'm with you. More. Come on. Nice. One more. Come on. Face, face, face on. Face on. Nice. Okay. So we're pushing you. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's actually got a bigger engine than me. Yeah. So he lasts a lot longer, which is strange. It's unusual when you consider the size difference. You'd think that I'd be able to outdo him, but the way that we train the sport that he has to play, uh, world's strongest man can go for over a week where they need to have the endurance to keep on going. So, so he's big, but he's actually got a lot more stamina than me. Um, so yeah, he's pushing me, but it's good. Yeah. Let's go. Cool. No, this is the last set, so we're going to have lunch in Q&A. It's going to be a second set of video. Yeah, sure. All right, my friend. Good session. I liked it. It's good. I'm happy with it. Um, and off we roll. Now I'm getting myself some some protein. Can I have some as well, please? Of course, my friends. Of course, my friends. Yeah. So that session for me, I'll give you some feedback. Yep. It's more volume than I'm used to. It's more volume, but it's nice. It's nice. It's really nice. Season. Well, you're not off season, but you have like what five months. That you could call that off season. Yeah, could, you could could call that off season. Mo most people would say that I'm not in my competition season. Yeah. So if you're not in competition season, let's just just for argument's sake. Good off season yeah, training. It's good, it's good. Change it up a little bit, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to compete anytime soon, so it's okay by me. I'm You're not going to compete anytime soon, but hopefully we've planted a seed to one day. I keep trying to plant a seed. I planted well, that seed a long time well, ago. Well, if you think about it, time flies, flies by very fast. It does. And I actually have a competition coming up uh, March next year. So, what's mm, that one? That's Arnold Arnold? Classic in Columbus, Ohio. So time flies by very fast. I'm training right now, uh, but not the way I'm used to, like doing. Mm -hmm. In November, I'll start pushing the weights up again. Yeah. So same with me. We've got a competition very much the same time. Your comps, I think, one week before mine. You're good at that, man. Thank you. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. And uh, so five months. That's right. Time goes very fast which is why i want to start my preparation from now mm -hmm. and even though you're not working with heavy weights i still consider this very important for your uh competition prep you know getting your joints healthy yep. uh, so right now that shoulder pain we're working towards getting rid of that yep. uh, so that's very important for your competition in march yep. uh, and getting your whole body fresh blank canvas so that in november we can Hit it hard, mm -hmm. uh, ready for the Arnold's next year. Yeah, and then and then the powerlifting competition after that. Exactly. Anyway, that's end the video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe, like, and follow Sebastian on YouTube.